person at the Oregon Ben Patterson. That's Kobe Watkins at the drums. Kobe Watkins. Thank you, I'm Bobby Broom. We are the Bobby Broom Organization. And this is good. It looks a little funny with the hyphen or the dash or whatever you call it, but uh, it's organization. That's just getting cute. You know, I had to think of something. But um, we have a, a brand new recording. Well, it's kind of brand new. It's brand new to you. <laughs> but uh, in 2014, uh, we opened for Steely Dan. In fact, this band oh, yeah. was, was uh, assembled because of a request from Steely Dan. I had worked with them a little bit uh, prior to 2014, and so they called me back to do, uh, to be the opening act on the tour, and I said, well, there's only one problem. My group broke up, so I don't have a band, so sorry, can't do it. And one of my friends was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you better find some, so. I looked around and I scrounged up these guys. <laughs> and boy, it turned into something lovely. The chemistry and uh, camaraderie is something. Uh, uh, yeah, so in, in any case, you will get a chance to hear exactly what that was uh, on our upcoming release. It's called Jam A Lot. Jam a lot. And uh, it's uh, 10 songs, five or six, no, seven from that Steely Dan tour from the concerts. So the monitor engineer just came up to me at the end of the, con at the, end of the tour and said, Go get a thumb drive. I have something for you. I'm like, What? And he gave me the, all the, recorded all the shows for me. So that was cool and fun going through like 50 sets of our music. <laughs> it was kind of grueling, but I found the, I, I found the gems. And um, then I decided, well, let's contrast that by going to the jazz showcase, you know, the club, the jazz club in Chicago. Oh, yeah. So we went in there and we recorded that set. And so it's like half concert, half club day. So it's kind of fun. Jam a lot, you can get it anywhere, music streams. There will probably be some CDs and, you know, no vinyl yet, but, you know, per your demand, we'll, maybe we'll do that. So, say that again. Ah! He said he'll demand it right now. I hear you. Well, can you help pay for it? <laughs> Vinyl's expensive, man. Okay. So, in any case, we have our first, uh, our first CD is available. That was called Soul Fingers. We did that in... 2018, 2019, and uh, the great Steve Jordan helped us produce that one. And, uh, so that's available. I'll be selling those hopefully outside after the show, and a bunch of my other uh, recordings are, are, are out there as well. So the first two we did was, uh, of course, the great Stevie Wonder, composition by the great Stevie Wonder. I have um, been known to just record music that I grew up loving. And that's something that I really like to do. Uh, I can't sing, so I try to just make the best of it on this thing. And um, it, it's cool. Uh, so we are going to do something that it goes a little bit farther back than that. It's by a jazz pianist composer, Tad Dameron. This is one he wrote called Tad's Delight. It's on the new disc. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.